Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to verify Green's theorem. Green's theorem statement is integral over c u dx plus b dy equal to double integral over the region r dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into dx dy. From the question, we can get u and v. Let's write it separately. So u equal to x minus 2y and v equal to x. So from this dou u by dou y will be minus 2 and dou v by dou x will be 1. And the given boundary is a circle whose equation is x square plus y square equal to 1. From this, we get the center of the circle is origin and the radius is 1. So from this, we are going to draw a small diagram where we take the horizontal and vertical axis. This is our x-axis and y-axis and we have a circle which has the center of the origin and radius is 1. So this is our circle. and the area under the consideration is this entire region. Since its radius is 1 and this point, let's take it as A, which is 1 comma 0. This is B, 0 comma 1. And this is C, which is minus 1 comma 0. And this is D, which is 0 comma minus 1. And the equation of the circle is x square plus y square is equal to 1. And from here, y square equal to 1 minus x square. And y equal to plus or minus root of 1 minus x square. Here, every boundary has a separate equation. For this, y is positive. So root 1 minus x square. Even here, y is positive. So y is root 1 minus x square. But here it is negative. So y is minus root 1 minus x square. And even here y is negative. So minus root 1 minus x square. Now coming to left hand side of the Green's theorem. We take LHS which is integral over C. It is made up of four part. One is A to B. Then B to C. Then C to D. And the last is from D to D. A. So we have four parts. So A to B is only covers this region that is A to B. In the same way we have four regions. Let's evaluate one by one. So the first part integral AB and we can see its limit of X varies from from here the value of X is 1 and from for B it is 0. So it varies from 1 to 0 and this curve equation is y is equal to root of 1 minus x square. Let us write it separately here y equal to root of 1 minus x square from this dy is 1 by 2 root 1 minus x square into minus 2x dx. You can cancel these two. So finally we left with minus x dx by root 1 minus x square. So coming to this integration, we have u dx. u is x minus 2y. So x minus 2, y is nothing but root 1 minus x square into dx. And the second part is we have x dy. So x we write as it is and dy is nothing but minus x dx by root 1 minus x square. So here we can take the dx throughout common. So integral 1 to 0 we have x minus 2 root 1 minus x square then minus x square by root 1 minus x square into dx. So here we can put plus 1 and minus 1 so that I can group and divide individually. 
So this is integral 1 to 0 x minus 2 root 1 minus x square. Combining 1 minus x square, we get 1 minus x square by root 1 minus x square. And the last term is minus 1 and that we can write separately minus 1 by root 1 minus x square dx. And now this is integral 1 to 0. We can cancel this and this becomes root. By combining these two, we get x minus root 1 minus x square and minus 1 by root 1 minus x square dx. And for this term, we are going to apply integration formula. It is integration of root a square minus x square dx is x by 2 root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c where a is 1 here. In the same way 1 by root a square minus x square dx is only sin inverse x by a. So when we apply this formula this becomes the first term is x square by 2. Second term minus bracket open x by 2 root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x. The last term is minus sin inverse x. Whole bracket close and the limit is from 1 to 0. When we substitute the upper limit all the terms becomes 0. When we substitute the lower limit 1 this becomes 1 by 2 minus bracket open this is 0 and when I put 1 here it is pi by 2 already there is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into pi by 2 bracket close minus pi by 2 bracket close so totally there is a minus sign outside this is 1 by 2 and this is minus pi by 4 minus pi by 2 now taking LCM for the pi terms alone this is minus 1 by 2 and both will become plus after taking LCM 3 pi by 4. So this is our first part. In the same way, when we take the next curve that is B to C, everything is same except the limit. The limit varies from, the value of x varies from 0 to minus 1. So we can write this as integral 0 to minus 1. But rest of the terms are same. So we can straight away take this term and apply the limit. So we can write directly this term and apply the limit. So I am going to copy this term here. That is bracket open. First term is x square by 2. Then minus x by 2. The whole formula x by 2 root 1 minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a where a is 1 then again minus sin inverse x minus sin inverse x it is from 0 to minus 1 when I substitute minus 1 the upper limit it becomes 1 by 2 and this term is 0 and this becomes 1 by 2 into minus pi by 2 that's why I have written the minus here bracket close and this is again minus pi by 2. So totally this becomes half and this is plus pi by 4 plus pi by 2. Totally half plus 3 pi by 4. This is our second part. Now the next curve is after a, b and b, c we have c, d. Here the equation has a negative sign. So we are going to work out again from the y onwards. So we are going to take y equal to minus root 1 minus x square. From this dy is minus 1 by 2 root 1 minus x square into minus 2x dx. These two we can cancel and become plus x by root 1 minus x square into dx. So integral 
we have c to d and so this is our question where we have to replace y as this and dy as this so coming to this cd we have the limit ranging from if you see the diagram the limit ranging from minus 1 the x value from minus 1 it reaches to 0 of the x value so we take minus 1 to 0 x minus 2y now it become plus 2 root 1 minus x square dx dx we can keep it common plus x into dy is one more x by this so x square by root 1 minus x square into dx here we are going to take purposely there is a minus sign outside so that this will be a minus sign so i keep it separately like this so that i can add one and subtract one now i'm going to divide individually that is integral minus one to zero x plus 2 root 1 minus x square minus if I divide this separately 1 minus x square by root 1 minus x square again there is a minus 1 by root 1 minus x square into dx now further simplifying this we get minus 1 to 0 x plus 2 root 1 minus x square and this after cancelling it will become a root so minus root 1 minus x square and this becomes plus 1 by root 1 minus x square dx now combining the like terms we get minus 1 to 0 x plus root 1 minus x square plus 1 by root 1 minus x square dx now applying the formula we get x square by 2 plus x by 2 root 1 minus x square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse x plus sin inverse x so whole bracket and there is a limit from minus 1 to 0 when i apply the upper limit everything is 0 then minus when you apply the lower limit 1 by 2 this becomes 0 this becomes minus pi by 4 and this becomes minus pi by 2. So finally, after taking the minus sign inside, it is minus half and plus 3 pi by 4. This is our third part. And even the last part, integral d to a, we have the limit from 0 to 1. So if you see the graph, we can see from d to a, 0 to 1 is our x limit. And the equation is having minus so once again we can copy the same term and apply the limit so i'm going to substitute here this becomes x square by 2 plus x by 2 root 1 minus x square even we can combine these two if i combine these two it is 3 by 2 sine inverse x and we have the limit 0 to 1. When I put the upper limit 1, this becomes 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 into pi by 2. So 3 pi by 4. This is our fourth value. Now we are going to add everything. That is the LHS we have from AB, then BC, then CD and DA. So fourth value we have and uh, third value we have it here let's take the first value the first value is minus 1 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4 so this is minus 1 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4 then the second value is 1 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4 so this is plus 1 by 2 into 3 pi by 4 and third value is minus 1 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4 once again there is a plus here minus 1 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4 and the last value is plus 1 by 2 plus 3 pi by 4 
So here we can cancel minus half plus half minus half plus half. And there is a common denominator 4. By adding the numerator 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 totally 12 pi by 4. So that gives 3 pi. Now coming to the right hand side of the Green's theorem. We have RHS and the expression is double integral over the region R and we have dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y into dx dy and double integral and dou v by dou x we have found already as 1 and dou u by dou y is minus 2. So this is 1 minus of minus 2 into dx dy and the limit from the diagram if I take a horizontal strip it varies from the x limit I have to take. So from the curve if I rearrange and take the value of x so here it is going to be x is root 1 minus y square but this side the value of x is negative so minus root 1 minus y square. So our limit of x varies from minus root 1 minus y square to root 1 minus y square and when we take the vertical extent the maximum and minimum we see minimum is minus 1 here and maximum is 1. So that limit is from minus 1 to 1 and this part becomes 3 minus of minus it is 2 2 plus 1 3 so the 3 can be taken outside the integration and uh, integral minus 1 to 1 then integral minus root 1 minus y square to root 1 minus y square we have dx and dy the first part we are going to integrate with respect to x. So we are getting only x and when we substitute the limit which is from minus root 1 minus y square root 1 minus y square and still we have dy and we have one more integral from minus 1 to 1. When we substitute the upper limit it becomes root 1 minus y square then minus of when I put the lower limit it becomes plus so root 1 minus y square and integral minus 1 to 1 dy we still left then finally it is 2 times and there is also a 3 outside so 3 we have to write so this is becomes 2 times so we can carry 6 outside minus 1 to 1 root 1 minus y square dy when we integrate this we get y by 2 root 1 minus y square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse y minus 1 to plus 1. When I substitute the upper limit, we get first part is 0, second part is 1 by 2 into pi by 2 minus of, when I put the lower limit, this becomes first part is 0, then 1 by 2 into minus pi by 2. So, totally this becomes 6 into pi by 4 and this becomes plus pi by 4. So totally it is 6 into pi by 2 which is 3 pi. So LHS equal to RHS. This was our LHS value 3 pi and RHS also 3 pi. So LHS and RHS are equal. Hence Green's theorem is verified.